Okay, now, what if we want multiple messages to be emailed to um, the people on our list? Well, what that entails is it starts out with one autoresponder, and then eventually another one, and then another one, and you can keep going. Uh, you can set this up for as long or as little as you want, but uh, we can. that's called an autoresponder series. Now, to make a series is actually pretty easy. What we need to do is we need to go up to our email marketing autoresponders and it's going to bring a list of our autoresponders and I'm going to go to the one that I created earlier this one right here ebook opt-in um, they're all I ordered them all by campaign name so I found it here and it gives us some information such as how many messages we have right now we only have one but that's going to change no subscribers no users removed and other removes because we haven't sent this out yet and this is for our prospects it's not shareable um, we could view a report if we wanted to see some stats. Um, we can also test it out, edit it, and add a message. Well, that's one of the choices that we want. We want to add a message. So I'm going to click Add Message, and it takes me to the autoresponder message page again. Now this is going to be the second autoresponder sent, and I want it to be sent a week after the first one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the day's delay to 7. That's a week later. Um, I'm going to keep the text as the message type. I'm not going to worry about an alternate destination. What that would do is that would send the, the, the information to like another, a third party or somebody who works for you. You could actually send it to them too. Um, we don't need that, so we're not going to use that. Subject line, I'm going to say uh, weekly advice from Mark. There we go. And then the message body is going to act the same way. I like to make it personal with a first name. And then I'm going to say, here's, you know, here's some weekly advice. Whatever I want it to say. Then I'm just going to scroll on down here and click the save button. Now, if we actually go back and look at our autoresponder details and I scroll down at the bottom of the page we now have two messages my gift to you which is zero days delay it actually says it here as well and message type is text we can test or edit these and then also I have weekly weekly advice from mark the seven days delay and there it is set up for seven days so I know that if somebody signs up and starts out with this autoresponder message in a week later they're going to get this message. And the same uh, I can keep going too. I could just click new message, do one for two weeks later, that'd be 14 days, and so on and so on. So that's how you would make an autoresponder series. It's very simple. Um, and that's how we do it in one shopping cart.